Hey guys, welcome back to Virtual Motorheads. Now it's been just over a year since I got my hands on the Moza R5 bundle. And today I want to give you my honest opinion. So if you are looking to pick up this budget friendly bundle or you want to upgrade your existing Logitech or Thrustmaster, then make sure you stick around because I'm going to tell you whether this is worth it. So before we take this for a spin on the rig and uh, just see again how it still performs after over a year, I thought let me just show you all three different parts. This of course is our R5 base with 5.5 newton meters of torque. I just want to say this is heavy. If you can use it, you can use it to do bicep curls with. Not that it's meant for that, but it's heavy. You can do nice, slow bicep curls and you'll get a workout. I promise you that. At the back, you plug in your pedals. And if you want to buy the Moza Dash, you can plug it in there as well. Very strong. This is going to last you a very long time. I've had it for over a year. Not a single problem. Even though there are a few guys online complaining that their Moza bases overheats, the R5, the R9, the R12. If you're going to abuse it, yes, it will overheat. I didn't abuse it. 100% force feedback in pit house, and then you adjust your force feedback in game. Nothing should ever be 100% everywhere. Mine didn't overheat once. No problems, nothing. The ES wheel, this is a solid wheel. It's got nice weight to it. It's a nice size. I really, really love it. I just wish the paddle shifters, that they made them magnetic. But you can have 3D parts printed and put magnets in them. Um, so there's lots of mods online that you can look at to add that functionality to this wheel. But it's got plenty of buttons. I mean, one, two, three, four, five or 24 buttons on here, I'm not sure, but it's over 20. Very nice wheel. And this leather or fake leather that they've got here, it's still perfect after more than a year of use. Now here I'm gonna have to be honest with you. I've never used these pedals. With my Thrustmaster, I immediately got rid of that rubbish T3PA pedals and I bought myself the Moza SRP pedals with a load cell. So these pedals have been sitting in the box. But what I can tell you, the throttle is easy to push down. Very easy to push down. The brake on the other hand, it's got more resistance. But I'm telling you now, you're going to get tired of this. You're going to want it stronger. But Moza thought of everything. So you do get a little brake mod that you can improve the resistance. And I'll just quickly show that to you. Okay, so here I've got the Moza brake mod kit. Yes, I can push it with my hand. You're thinking, oh, look how weak that is. But you've got this little rubber dampener at the bottom. It's not a hard or medium one, it's a soft one. But I'm telling you now, it's gonna make a world, a world's difference to how your brake pedal feels. So first you slide this little rod through. Let me do it from that side so you can see. There we go. So you slide that little rod through all the way to the other end. Put the little screw on this side as well. Just want to tighten the screw quickly. Once you've tightened that, you just pop the brake mod in like so. Now, look at that. There's way more resistance. 
And I'm telling you now, if you compare this to your Logitech pedals or your Thrustmaster oh, T3PA pedals, this is going to be a game changer for you. So this bundle, build quality wise, it's, it's bang for buck. You will not regret it. I'm telling you now, take my word for it. You will not regret it. These pedals really are good. It's going to make you faster. This is such good quality. And for an entry level set, you get everything. You've got your bass, you've got your wheel, and you've got your pedals. Something else I wanted to say is that, you must just remember this is a 5.5 Newton meter torque bass. It's not a nine or a 12. So you cannot go for much bigger wheels or heavier wheels, because then you're gonna start losing some of that force feedback and the detail that you would like to feel on track. So my recommendation is stick to this wheel, get yourself the ES Formula Mod, and then maybe if you really want to, you can get the Moza KS GT wheel as well. Works really, really well with this base. Time to jump into the rig and see if it still holds up after more than a year. After a full year of using the Moza ES steering wheel, I've got to say it's still holding up pretty well. The leather textured grip is still comfortable and there's no signs of wear, which just shows you the quality of this wheel. The buttons, while they are still holding strong, no issues there. And after a year of mapping controls and using them across different racing sims, they haven't lost any responsiveness or click. This is definitely one of those things where I'm happy the quality has lasted this long. Where I've really settled in is the force feedback. And after more than 12 months of racing, I've come to appreciate the R5's feedback. One thing I've been impressed by is the amazing durability of the R5 base. After a year of regular use, it's still running smoothly without any mechanical issues. No strange noises, no overheating, in spite of what some people on the internet say and absolutely no decline in the force feedback quality. It still feels sharp and responsive. However, the 5.5 Newton meters of torque feels a bit limited now, especially since I've gotten used to pushing it so hard. It's great for most casual and semi-serious races, but I do find myself sometimes wanting a bit more punch during intense races. And then, of course, there is the occasional force feedback clipping. The compact size of the R5 base has always been a huge plus for my setup. It doesn't take up much space and it was so easy to mount my rig. So whether you're clamping it to a desk or hard mounting it to a sim rig, this base will fit perfectly. For those of you with limited space, for wanting a more portable rig, the R5 base has been a perfect fit. Let's get back to the ES wheel itself. I must admit, this wheel has always struck a nice balance. It's not too heavy, which keeps it responsive, but it also feels substantial enough to give you a good sense of control. After a year, it's still comfortable for extended races. And it's a good all-rounder that adapts to different driving styles and car types. As I've mentioned before, the 5.5 Newton meters of torque on the R5 base is more than enough for casual races or those just getting into sim racing. But I promise you, after a year of pushing the wheel to its limits, you will start to crave a bit more power like I am now. For most 
it is an amazing starting point to get into the world of direct drive wheels. But if you're looking for something with more kick, you might eventually want to upgrade. So to end off, just keep that in mind before spending your hard-earned cash on the Moza R5 bundle. I wanted to show you guys the Moza ES Formula mod as well. Now I bought this a couple of months ago because I was very, very curious. Also, because it's very, very cheap. I have the Moza KS GT wheel, but I was looking for something a little bit smaller, especially for racing Formula One cars. The KS wheel feels just slightly too big and that makes it feel unnatural. This feels very natural when you are racing open wheel cars. And you can use it for GT cars as well. So I totally recommend it. It won't break the bank. It takes less than a minute to replace the round wheel with the ES mod. And um, I'm loving it. I'm actually loving it more than the Moza KS wheel. I just wish the buttons would light up on the ES button box. But um, other than that, get it. If you have the R5 bundle, or you're thinking of buying it, just throw in a couple of bucks extra and get yourself the ES mod. Guys, that's it for another video. And if you enjoyed this one year later review, then give it a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments what your current setup is. And if you plan on getting the R5, if you have it already, if you are going to upgrade to the R9 or R12 or even the R16 or R21 or venture into a completely different ecosystem like Sim Magic. Let me know, let's start the discussion. That is what makes this sim racing community so awesome. Other than that, I will check you in the next one.